Today, we're going to look at the scholarship, the financial services that you can get when applying to MIT. MIT is ranked the third best university in the United States and one of the best universities in the world. And they give a ton of scholarships to students. So it is very easy to apply for a scholarship, but they only give scholarship to deserving students. So you have to be a deserving student. You have to stand out in order to get a scholarship but you can get a scholarship. I've already done in great detail in uh, the video of how to apply and the navigation of the website and the selection of the course in my previous video. You can click on the link above over here or in the description below to go and watch that video. But today I'm gonna to show you where you can find the scholarship, how much scholarship are involved and how to apply for a scholarship at MIT. So without further ado, let's start the review for the scholarship for MIT. Now, if you go over here, this uh, page is the homepage for MIT and we'll go to student services. The link for this is in the description below on uh, YouTube. You can click on it. It's sfs.mit.edu. And when you get over here, this is the financial services. Now, obviously they give you a breakdown for affording your education and you can estimate your cost and for undergraduate students or for the uh, graduate students. They have their customer service and the frequently asked questions and the contact us and the way everything is billed uh, and the repayments that you have to do. Obviously, there is more information regarding here. This is what I wanted to show you guys that the total MIT scholarships that are given, the amount we award in MIT scholarship need based grants in 2020, 2021 academic year is $127.6 million. The average MIT scholarship the students tend to get is $45,146. And we meet 100% of an undergrad's demonstrated need through our types of uh, aid. The tuition fee, free tuition free, is the percentage of MIT undergrads who do not pay tuition fee due to need based aid is 28%. So 28% of people studying in an undergraduate program at MIT do not pay anything. They're completely tuition free. And the percentage of undergraduates who graduate from MIT debt free is 2082%. And the average starting salary for a graduate MIT senior entering industry in 2020 is 94,988 US dollars. Now, let me talk about these for one second. They're saying the scholarships that they give is $127.6 million. So $127.6 million worth of scholarship are given. 82% when they finish the undergraduate programs, they are debt free. They do not owe anything to the university. And 28% actually study completely free. And 100%, that's a big number, Everyone that is studying at MIT, all their needs are met. And an average scholarship is worth $45,146. And the starting salary, the starting salary for anyone that is graduating from MIT, first year is $94,988 US dollars. That is what an MIT graduate gets. So if you are an individual that has that, has that passion, can actually study at MIT, that will be your starting pay. Now, let me show you how you apply for a scholarship. The most important thing, you'll go to how to apply for aid and this page will come up and it'll give you information. If you're for domestic students or international students, the, uh, the deadlines are over here. Early applicants is November 30th. Regular action applicants is February 15th and continuing students is April 15th. Now you will check if you're a domestic students or international students. I'm making this particular video on MIT and I'm going in depth on it because I want to make sure I help you guys get into MIT for domestic students and for international students. So or you are in the US or a US citizen and you're thinking of going to MIT, you can always message me as well. I will guide you as well. And international students, if you're anywhere in the world, you can always message me and I'll support you and guide you and provide you the correct information so you have everything that you need to get selected at MIT. Now I'm gonna go to international students. I wanna show international students 
that what they can actually get at MIT. International students are considered for aid using the same process that we use for all applicants. We're committed to meeting 100% of demonstrated financial need for international students, just as we do for domestic students. And obviously, this is how you apply. Applying for financial aid can be complicated, so we've broken it down to make it easier. There are two types of uh, ways to apply for aid, the CSS, Profile, a tool provided by the College Board that we use to determine if you qualify for a need-based MIT scholarship or the parent tax return or income documentation. So basically you provide a parent's tax return or their income documentation through the College Board Secure IDOC platform. And if your parents live outside the US, you provide a tax return from that country along with a translation to English if you're applicable. And obviously you can start your application over here. And once you upload all that information, it is reviewed. They check that if you have the grades, if you have the extracurricular activities, if you have a strong personal statement, it all starts with a personal statement. I do not mention eyelets because I've mentioned IELTS so many times. I've spoken about IELTS so many times. I've told you guys IELTS is, is the stepping stone for this. You have to make sure your personal statement is very strong and you have a good IELTS or TOEFL score to make sure that your English proficiency is top notch. If you need any help for your personal statement, you can always message me. Once you get all that documentation and you upload it and you show them, it is scrutinized, it is gone through thoroughly, and then they contact you. The second method, obviously of the CSS uh, profile is they giving you a breakdown of that information. You can fill up your CSS profile from here. And for the parent tax return, you can submit it over here and you can submit the document over here and you can email them at sfs at mit.edu or do you have your full financial aid counsel that help you and guide you through your process as well. The main thing is you have to take the first step and make the decision on where you want to go. You have to select the course that you want to do, which I've covered in my previous video that you can give it a watch as well. After you've done all of that, and if you need financial support, and I suggest that you need financial support because 77,000 US dollars is huge. So obviously some sort of financial aid will be needed. You will have to apply through this, but they have counselor that can help you. Now, there's another method, and I wanna mention that method, and I think that is an excellent method, which is trading. Trading on cryptocurrency, trading with cryptocurrency, trading on Binance. Now, the most important thing I wanna mention over here is the fact that this is another method that is coming into play. Universities such as Stanford, just such as Harvard, such as Yale and Oxford and Cambridge, top-notch universities are already moving towards over here. Right now, Stanford universities have courses on the metaverse. They have courses where you have an avatar and you're learning online directly sitting in the classroom at Stanford. This is happening right now. And MIT will be in the same league as well. And very soon they will be also involved in this uh, cryptocurrency, in the metaverse, in the Binance, in buying and selling and trading and all these factors. You need to make sure that if you're going to a top notch university such as MIT, you understand this world as well. And you can take this opportunity where you can actually look into Binance, understand the blockchain, understand this methodology, and actually invest in blockchain and use that for your living at the university, for paying off your fees, for doing so much. It will show when you apply for a scholarship at the university, it will show the university that you are thinking and finding methods of actually paying off your debt or generating income to make sure that you can afford your education. So when you write your personal statement, in that personal statement, you will mention that you are an individual that is thinking outside the box, that is finding other methodologies, other methods, financial methods to raise funds for yourself and your education. That will show the uh, selection committee the passion that you have, and that will work in your favor. So make sure that you actually learn this. This is we are moving from a digital world into a virtual world. And if you want to show that you are in par with the world and in par with technology, that you understand the virtual world that is coming into being and that you already have a foot in the virtual world. So if you have not made an account on Binance, you can always click in the link below in the description and actually sign up to Binance. I'm making separate videos and explaining how you can trade in Binance and raise funds. Now keep something in mind. The purpose of all these videos is to ensure that every single student that is abroad, that any university anywhere in the world can work freely, can have a good income, 
that can pay off the tuition and have a good livelihood. That is the main reason behind these videos. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share this video on Facebook so your friends and family can also benefit from it. If you need any help, any guidance in your personal statements, in creating an account on Binance, in applying to MIT, in applying for any scholarship whatsoever, you can always message me on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, or you can comment in the section below on YouTube and I will definitely get back to you. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.